Hello everyone and welcome to the first day of the advent calendar unboxing where we begin with day one. A nice big door most likely to hold a figure. So let's not waste any time and get into that perforation. Okay, the perforation the perforation tears nice and cleanly so as not to damage the box art. And the reveal is a Knuckles the Echidna wearing a scent uh, a green hat and oh he's held in with a tie did not expect that so as to cause as little damage as possible we're bringing in the exacto knife so we can cut into that there we go and there is the knuckles figure um this is very much like the regular knuckles figure that was released uh, except that it has this cute little hat uh, sculpted on. I'm not sure if they sculpted a regular Knuckles head and then put this on. It it doesn't move, so it could be glued on, or they could have made an original Knuckles head with this hat on it. Not sure. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same as the official Knuckles figure. So you got the universal shoulder joints, which are slightly impeded by the uh, by the dreads. But because this is cast plastic, the dreads are flexible enough. Actually, feeling this, these are definitely made out of a softer material than the original release of the Knuckles figure. So they actually do less to impede the movement of his arms and head. As you can see, just moving it up, I can, if it would stay in focus, just by moving it around, I can slightly flex those dreads. So nice to see that it doesn't constrict it too much. And the hips are still universal. So yeah, we have a perfectly, perfectly good Knuckles figure with a charming little hat that makes him Christmassy. So we got the we officially have the first in the series on this little Christmas in Green Hill setup that we have going on. And uh, come, come here tomorrow to see what's behind door number two.